guys welcome back with me don't forget to like comment share and subscribe fact book in inviting and inflation the challenge facing listers london readers listers first chaotic month in power has depended the sense of political instability in britain shocking investors and raising questions about the prime minister's ability to govern not only her party but the country as a whole the 47 year old former french minister took over the top job on september 6 the lead a party that in office for 12 years has overseen a lack of real terms growth in wages and the tortures departure from the european union trust has sought the tackle the stagnation by slashing taxes and regulation but the company need to borrow tens of billions of pounds sends financial market into free fall forcing her to reverse the most div divisive elements scrapping the top rate of tax paid by Britain's highest earning 1%. Below is a summary of the challenge and event ahead. What happened next? Truss and her finance minister quasi quartang shock markets on September 23 when they set out £45 billion, £51 billion on unfunded tax cuts in a bid to set, stimulate the economy. They had said that they would publish details on the impact on the public finance and on how the tax cut would be funded on November 23. Facing anger from investors, a government source said they were now considering bringing that, that date forward. Any, any new dates would likely be announced in Parliament, which returns on October 11 after a break for party conference. First, the government will set out ways to reform everything from the complex planning system to the rules that govern to the city London, immigration and issues that determine the economy's capacity to meet demand. Economists are skeptical about whether this can significantly increase economic growth. However, as governments have strayed and failed to streamline bureaucracy before and is such as higher immigration are unpopular with the party. Already natural and with life groups have warned they would oppose any force to weaken environmental protection in new investment zones while local communities oppose fracking market traction return so-called mini budgets for panic in markets with the pound falling a to record low against the dollar and government bonds prices falling to such extent that the Bank of England had to intervene to shelter pension funds. The central bank said it was willing to spend up to £65 billion pounds to tame yields. So far, it has bowed for less that, that it said it might, and it remains unclear how markets will shrink when the support comes to an end and on October 15. Yields remain higher than before quartering statement. Return also had to pay the highest yields as any equation since 2011 on Wednesday with the yield over a percentage 
point more than at a similar auction of a month earlier. I think that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.